Creating Accessible Excel Files, Chapter 4. Creating Alt Text and Text Equivalents for Visual Elements. This training video is produced by the Accessibility and Policy Unit of the California Department of Social Services. These criteria are based on Web Content Accessibility Guidelines 1.1.1 and 1.1.4. These criteria help us understand why and how to provide information such as alt text and text equivalents for images and other visual elements like using color for meaning within a table. It is common for Excel worksheets to have multiple non-textual visual elements, which a screen reader user will miss if alt text and text equivalents are not provided to explain their meaning. In this video, we will discuss a few kinds of visual elements which need alt text or a text equivalent in order to provide equal access. Images and shapes are typically less common in Excel than in other file formats, but when they appear, alt text is required if the image is not purely decorative. While alt text should be applied to most images within your workbook, some screen reader users will not automatically hear the image and correlating alt text. Be aware, therefore, when using images that additional information may need to be provided elsewhere. It may be best or easiest when possible to just not include images and shapes. This way, no one is excluded and redundant information is not being heard for some screen reader users. One option, however, may be to provide an additional text description in cell A1 with invisible text. Invisible text is created by using the same color font as the background color means the visual user will not see the description of the image, but a screen reader user will hear it. To apply alt text to an image, right click on the image, select edit alt text from the dialog box. On the right hand portion of your screen, an alt text dialog box will appear. Enter in a description for most images. Doing this will provide equal access to the content. If the image is purely decorative, providing no meaning to the content, it is appropriate to check the box Mark as Decorative. Assistive technology will ignore the image. If you are not sure if the image is purely decorative, providing no meaning to the document, you should provide alt text. Heads up! there can be some unusual visual elements in Excel. The key is to analyze worksheets and determine which visual elements provide important information that must be translated into text for users of assistive technologies. For visual elements which do not have an alt text option, there are a couple of alternatives for providing text equivalents to ensure the information they provide are available to persons using assistive technologies. Color, for example, is often used to represent meaning within a worksheet. Within this worksheet, color represents different counties and there is a key below the table that explains which color correlates with which county. As the screen reader reads the data cells, they may not hear any announcement as to what the background color is, nor what it means. Worse yet, the screen reader user would likely not know until they listen to the entire table that there is a key below the table with information in it that correlates with visual elements in the table. There are a few options for providing text equivalents for visual elements within a worksheet, including one using cell A1, two applying table headers, three using notes or comments, and four data validation input messages. We talk about using cell A1 for providing information about visual elements in chapter two of this video series. In chapter three of this video series, we show how to apply a title region to a table. Once this is done, the column and row headers will read per data cell in that column and row. As an example, if a title region was appropriately applied to this table, when someone enters cells 3C, 4C, or 5C, they will hear the number, as well as either the company column header or type of apple row header. The color shading in the table for it provides some additional meaning for those with no visual or color issues. But remember, color must not be used alone to convey meaning. In this example, the headers are also available to provide meaning to the numbers. When there is a single or unique visual element within a cell, there are two options that are usually used to create a text equivalent to a visual element. Notes, 
Comments or data validation input messages can be used to provide a text equivalent within a cell to describe the visual element. While both meet accessibility standards, notes and comments are the most accessible options. When might you use a note or a comment? An example would be the use of an asterisk to relay meaning. Asterisks are a common visual element placed within tables to refer to some meaning which is provided usually in a key. In this case, the asterisk in cell B4 is to indicate that the shipment of Blue 3 is on hold. Sighted users have the benefit of seeing the key in asterisks as soon as they open the worksheet. The goal of accessibility is to create equal access to this information. Otherwise, the screen reader will hear the asterisks within the data cell but will not know what meaning it brings until they reach the end of the table and can hear the key. This is a significant barrier for assistive technology users. Equal access would mean the screen reader user hears, quote, 43 asterisks, dash. The asterisk means that shipment is on hold, end quote, when they enter this, that cell. Similar to using alt text for images, notes and comments are used within the data cells to describe visual elements within data cells. Notes and comments are also searchable and navigable for screen reader users. Note, in some older versions of Excel, note is not present. If you do not have access to it, use comment instead. You should not use comment if you have the note option. Notes are consistently more accessible to screen reader users. Step one for creating a note. Focus on the cell with the visual element that needs to be described, then right click in that cell. Step two, select new note. Step three, type in the text equivalent into the pop-up dialog box for the note or comment. A screen reader user can pull up all notes and comments on the worksheet via the screen reader's elements list. By using the data validation input message, a message will be both seen and read aloud to the screen reader user as they enter the cell. It will not, however, be searchable or navigable like notes are. To apply data validation, focus on the cell in which a text equivalent is needed for a visual element, such as the asterisks we have been discussing. Select the Data tab. Then select Data Validation within the Data Tools section of the ribbon. Choose the Input Message tab from the Data Validation dialog box. Enter information into the Input Message field and select OK. The information provided in the input message field will now read aloud to the screen reader user as they enter the cell, such as, quote, 43 asterisk dash, asterisk means that shipment is on hold. When finished with any Excel, Word, or PowerPoint file, always go to the Review tab and run the Accessibility Checker. While the Accessibility Checker will find missing alternative text, such as with our red apples above the table, it will not pick up on other visual elements and the present or missing text equivalents for other types of visual elements such as color being used for meaning or symbols like the asterisks. The accessibility checker cannot tell if cell A1, notes, comments, or data validation has been used to describe other visual elements within the worksheet. This will always require a manual check. For more information about this topic or any of the topics in our series, contact the Accessibility Policy Unit at accessibilitypolicyunit.com at dss.ca.gov.